Hey everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Cooking with Mo and Deb. This morning we're going to make breakfast. It's a Saturday morning. The weather is beautiful. Sunshine is coming in the windows and it's, we're hungry. <laughs> and I love making breakfast. I, we don't have breakfast very often. I, my whole life, mm -hmm. if I cooked breakfast, it's mostly on Saturdays. Yeah. I know um, what you mean, so, Deb. Um, you know, we just don't need the extra calories We don't, anymore, but... Do we? Uh, I know there in the past, um, some moms and probably dads too, they would start out cooking breakfast, cooking lunch, cooking dinner. Yep. I have That's never done that. Me either. <laughs> I could never, I've always worked and never yep. had time to do that every day. Mm -hmm. So I'm not used to that, but, um, so that's why breakfast cooked, a cooked yeah. breakfast is a special thing for around our house. It is, it's like a treat. And yeah. around here we like our biscuits to be buttermilk and our gravy to be white and creamy or chocolate. And we like our eggs to be scrambled or fried. <laughs> and we like bacon and sausage. Exactly. So we're gonna, we're gonna make breakfast, but we're gonna start with biscuits. Homemade so. biscuits. So if y'all, do y'all make homemade biscuits? Um, so Mo's going to show you how if you don't. Yeah. And you know, it's really simple. It's not as hard as people make it out to be. Um, I've got four cups of self-rising flour in here. This is one of the few things I use self-rising flour for. And to that I'm going to add one third cup of shortening. Or as Miss Brenda Gant likes to call it, grease. <laughs> <laughs> so now shortening, I, I saw you get that out and yours was in the uh, shortening tub. Mm, but Crisco in a tub, yeah. Well, they actually make it in sticks now, yes, right? Yes, they do. So you can use that. I've, I like to use those sticks. Mm -hmm. um, they're just, you know, it's it's like butter. It's it's measured out for you, so it's right. real easy to get the measurements. So I do that. I use it sometimes. Okay, so to that, I'm going to just use my hands, y'all. You know, just use your hands. You can use a spoon or a fork or a pastry cutter. I have a pastry I, cutter. I've done that before. But you know what? My hands work really good. God gave us these tools <laughs> on the ends of our arms. So <laughs> why not use hands. them? <laughs> so I'm just crumbling up that, that grease into my flour. And you're just going to mix it in until it, it gets all mixed in. Mm -hmm. all until cork. there's no big hunks. Okay. Yeah. Now... Some people sift their flour, and that's great. If you want to sift it, sift it. But I don't. I mean, I guess if it had, like, if it was a coarse flour, maybe I would. But it's, you know, this is white lily flour, and it's so soft, and I just don't, I just don't bother I, I've never it. sifted mine for biscuits either. Mm -hmm. I, um, mm -hmm. I think it, it. When you sift it, it kind of puts some air into it and makes it maybe lighter. That, that makes them fluffier. I think you're right, Deb. I think so. Either way, I sense. think works. If if yours works mm -hmm. without sifting and you don't want to take this step, that step, that's fine. But if your biscuits turn out like hockey pucks, <laughs> maybe you maybe need try to sifting. Sift. <laughs> <laughs> I have had those happen before. My and yesterday. and so yeah. Um, that's the thing about making homemade biscuits is it's a kind of a trial and error sometimes. Bring that camera in here, Deb. Let's okay. show them. This, I'm, I'm thinking maybe this is as, maybe not as good as sifting, but this I'd is I'd say what you're I right. It's, it's I'm adding, I'm, I'm crumbling that up, and I'm adding air to it as I go. Exactly, yeah. right. So that's why you probably haven't ever had to sift it. Right. It looks like it's about all incorporated, too. Yeah, it is. And I'm going to make me a little well in the middle. Wash my hands over here. And then we'll be ready for the next ingredient. So this is just a three ingredient biscuits, right? Right. Flour, shortening, and... If you use self frosted flour, you know, you don't have to add the bacon powder and all that. So. Okay. All right. Now we've got a cup and a half of buttermilk. You don't have to use buttermilk. You can use whole milk or even, you know, 2%, whatever you use. And I'm only going to pour about half of this in the middle. And then to that, I'm going to start just stirring it around with my hands. Again, you can use a spoon if you don't like getting your hands all gunky. See, I don't think I've ever done it, done mine this way, so mm -hmm. I'm wondering if I need to... I'm wonder, I mean, sometimes they turn out, sometimes they don't, mm -hmm. but I think I need to incorporate this This is step. how my mother-in-law did it, and I think this is how the old folks did it and still do mm -hmm. it. You know, um, this is how they were taught back on the farm, back on the homestead, you know, before we had all the restaurants on every corner and could go get whatever we wanted. 
this is how they did it. And so it's getting really sticky now. I'm just going to keep pulling that flour in. All right. Time for some more buttermilk. So you just pour a little in at a time till you get it kind of incorporated and then you'll add the mm -hmm. rest. And I'm not a pro at it because I have made biscuits through the years, but seldom. We, we just, like Debbie was saying, we don't eat a lot of breakfast. Um, usually we didn't have time. Even when the kids were home, mm -hmm. we were always headed to the ball field or <laughs> doing something else. So we'd say, grab a pop tart, you know. <laughs> exactly. So... <laughs> And of course, now we know that that's probably not a healthy, not the healthiest, thing but to do. you know what? They made it through. Well, Our alive. kids have done <laughs> fine on say. pop tarts <laughs> and a bowl of, or a bowl of Cheerios. All right, and we'll add the rest of the milk. So that was a cup and a half of buttermilk. Now I'm just gonna smear this around. It doesn't take long either. It, I guess that's partly. A lot of times I think, oh, that's going to take too much time. But really, it, really does it doesn't it. take that does much time. It. It's looking good. Y'all see that? She's almost got it incorporated there. Yeah. All right. That looks great. Yeah. Look at right. that. <laughs> <laughs> almost red. And then after that, we're going to roll them out and or pat them out. Pat them out. Yeah. And then we'll be cutting yeah, the biscuits. Yeah, we don't use a roller on this one. Um, you can, but we don't want our biscuits to be flat. Okay. We want them to be just as fluffy as we can get them. Okay. So we're going to pause just for a minute while we get this finished up, and we'll come right, right back. back. We're back. Hey guys, we've got our biscuit dough ready to go. I am going to spread out just a little bit of flour onto my pastry mat. If you don't have a pastry mat and you want to just work it right on your countertop, you could do that. Mm -hmm. But this does save a little bit of messiness. It, it sure does. Now I'm going to take, take it. And I think part of making biscuits is getting the right consistency. So that's why sometimes it's a trial and error. Right. You try it. If one time it don't work, then maybe you need to add a little milk or a little less flour or you just have to try it till you get a consistency that works for right. you. Well, this this recipe is pretty much foolproof. I mean, it really is. If I can do it, y'all can do it. <laughs> Trust me. Well, and then the kneading is another thing. Maybe you don't, some people, I tend to need too much, I think. Some mm -hmm. recipes, you don't need to do a whole lot of kneading and yeah. messing with it. You just get it to the right consistency. Yeah, so I, <laughs> you know, I'm just folding it over a few times. I'm not really kneading it a lot. But what I am going to do is just, I, I like to get it where it's not sticking to my fingers. There so you when, go. Once that's, you get it like that. That's a good rule of thumb. Mat, then you're good. Um, now, if you wanted to roll them out, you sure could. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to, we're just going to make us a. So how, a <laughs> can you throw it around and catch it? <laughs> I don't think so. We want to eat these biscuits. So <laughs> yeah. They'd be on the floor. So how thick are you going to make these? Is there a. <laughs> I don't know. How just try it till you like it. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just going to, yeah, this is going to stick in this little cutter. I couldn't find my regular biscuit cutter, so I'm just using a circle cookie cutter. If you have a, a cup the you size you like, glass, you could just use that, yes. just dip it in flour, and then you, then you mm -hmm. can cut your biscuits out with it. If y'all watch this. Brenda Gant, she uses an old can that she's had for like 50 That's years. That's crazy, or isn't it? I know. <laughs> a can. I love it. But that would be the right size, That's a little what, can. I mean, waste not, walk not, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. Now we're just going to put them, we're going to lay them out, and I'm going to put them really close. There's the pan she's putting them on. I'm not going to put them in my, in my um, iron skillet because we're about to use that for sausage. And I'm going to fold this back over. And Mix don't, yeah, here. don't waste any. Just no, knead that back together any. a little and roll it back. Or if I had a smaller, I, really, it'd be better to have them touching almost. I think they like to, they like to touch each other. Yeah, don't waste any of it. You can get more out of your the rest of your dough. Yep. And fill your pan up. This makes quite a few, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. 
So I am, um, I'm using my Pampered Chef iron, no iron, not Stoneware. Iron. Stoneware. I don't know if y'all have what this pan is right any here. of the stoneware from Pampered Chef, but it's amazing. You don't actually, in this case, well in the over case, you don't have to grease that pan, but nope. if you were using an iron skillet, you would, grease you would need to put some uh, shortening or butter, I guess, or oil into your skillet. Uh, but with these, you don't have to. They're already seasoned, so they won't stick. Goodness gracious, this way. It makes quite nice. a few, doesn't it? <laughs> I can get one more out there. Bing. There we go. Okay, y'all. We're going to put these in the oven. At what we'll temperature? At, well, 450 is what we're going to do. That's pretty high temperature. Um, I know some people make them even higher, but I, I would truly burn them. So I'm going to put them in at 450 in the preheated oven, and we'll be right back to show you how they look. So it's, it's time to take the biscuits out. Here they come. Look how beautiful they look. Let me bring this camera over a little closer. Oh, they're so pretty. Yep. They are gorgeous. They did exactly. They cooked up just like they're supposed to. I say that a lot, cooked up. They cooked up. <laughs> we'll get cooked up. You can, might can hear the rest of our breakfast cooking, but the biscuits look amazing. Yeah, that, it did rise enough. I mean, you can split that baby right in half and tuck a piece of sausage uh -huh. in there, <laughs> and it would be great for sure. They look yummy. You want to cut one in half? Sure, I'll cut this one in half. Okay. Oh yeah, see how nice and flaky. It. Butter on it. They look. They brown just great there. Whoops, I'm throwing it around. Browned on the bottom. They really do good when um, you have this stoneware. I mean, they, it's really great for helping uh, everything brown evenly and then get it browns really pretty on the bottom too. I'm gonna put that butter in there. Mm mm mm. Sit down. But yeah, they just <laughs> they're perfectly. You know. They, they look great. wonderful. That's a really good recipe. It is. No fail. Let that butter Let melt. That melt gonna, a little. <laughs> have a bite. Have a bite. <laughs> so be sure that you look for the recipe at the beginning of the video. <clears throat> or if you're on Facebook, it's it's always posted at the top of the video. Right. And you know, what do you like to eat with your biscuits? <laughs> I, I like strawberry jelly. You know, I'm a strawberry fan, okay. so I do yeah. jelly a lot of times. I like apple butter. Apple butter's really good, too, yes. So we may have to open Hi, cat. I think the kitty cat smells cat. the biscuits. <laughs> um, oh, Debbie, this is too hot to eat. Y'all, this is too hot to eat. So. But we'll be back later, and we'll have we'll show you um, some biscuits with, some other, with the rest of our breakfast. Yeah. So, right all right. Back. 